Action 10 Chief Meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Good afternoon. You know, on these very hot days, we often look to that breeze to help cool us down a little. And fortunately, we've got the ocean right there uh, just to our east. That def definitely helps get that breeze going during the day. It's called sea breeze. The reason we have the sea breeze is because water cool or actually warms up slower than the land does. Uh, because of the slower heating of the water and the warmer land that heats faster, we end up with an area of lower pressure. Air rises, it causes the pr air pressure to be lower at the surface, and as it rises, it can also run into some cooler air aloft, and those little cumulus clouds can form. You often see those during the day and then drifting inland with the sea breeze. So as the land heats faster, we end up with cooler uh, temperatures over the water, hotter over the land, and we get a circulation going. That air sinks coming down over the water and starts to make its way back toward the land, toward low pressure. Air always moves from high to low pressure, so that's where our sea breeze comes from. And I'll tell you what, it sure is helpful, again, on these hot days. What are the windiest months here in Corpus Christi and the coastal bend? The springtime, March, April, and even into May tend to be windy, but you've probably noticed the winds have been dying down recently. Recently, and this is our typically quieter time of year for the wind with average wind speeds about 10 to 15, which they are right now. We're not seeing a whole lot of wind out there, but we do have a little bit of that sea breeze. You see the air coming in from the ocean and moving inland with that southeast air uh, airflow, though, we get a lot of humidity and we're certainly noticing that today. The wind forecast over the next few days, not too strong. In fact, we stay under 15 miles an hour from the south southeast the next few days. So just a gentle breeze blowing in the afternoons, thanks to that sea breeze, which we'll be glad we have it. Take a look at these temperatures. Right now we're sitting at 94 degrees in Corpus Christi, 95 at Alice, 87 right now at Port Aransas. Oh, it's steamy out there. That heat index up to 110 at Robstown. It is just sweltering. And you know what? We're going to be dealing with these numbers all week long. So if you have to work outdoors, keep that in mind to take it easy, drink a lot of water. Lows tonight are actually going to drop down a little bit. The dew points came down slightly. So we're looking at 73 for Corpus Christi tonight, lower to mid 70s inland. And there could be a little bit of fog. The winds are going to be really light tonight, so there may be some of that moisture condensing out with our clear skies uh, to some patchy fog and some areas of low clouds tonight. Tomorrow, hitting that 94 degree mark again. And again, the wind staying under 15. That feels like temperature climbing tomorrow as highs reach close to 100 inland. We're going to reach into the mid 90s around Corpus Christi inland, even some upper 90s. Just going to be awful. Well, okay, we'll call it hot and humid, not necessarily awful, right? Here's your feels like uh, trying to make it sound a little. <laughs> no, we're trying to make it sound better. Yeah. Anyway, the feels like temperatures tomorrow, though, you can see about 105 to 110 inland, closer to the coastline, it'll be lower. You see this little area of circulation right here? Little upper level disturbance right here. This is forecast to track into South Texas tomorrow night through early Thursday. That might have enough moisture to kick off a few showers. So I did add a stray shower to the forecast and uh, it's not going to be much rain if anything, but we do see a few stray showers possible from Tuesday night into Wednesday as the heat continues across the coastal bend and that Saharan dust, it returns this weekend. We have more news coming up. Please stay with us.